Welcome back to all of you. The month of March is National Kidney Month, which is a time when communities across the country try to raise awareness about kidney disease. And this year's focus is on taking charge of your health and the many factors that go into managing your kidney disease. So what should you be doing to keep your kidneys healthy? Dr. James Davis is a Washington University nephrologist at Christian Hospital. He joins us now with some tips. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning, it's great to be with you. We're thrilled to have you here with us. We all know that we have kidneys, but what role do our kidneys play in our body? Our kidneys play several roles that a lot of folks may not be aware of. They play a pivotal role in the regulation of our blood pressure. They also play roles in helping to manage the balance of fluid in our body. Like our liver, they're also filters for toxins and waste products. They help our body give signals to make blood. Really, the kidneys are involved in several normal, healthy processes that really need to be maintained at a high level. So what is the best thing that we can do to promote kidney health? I think that the most important thing that each and every one of us can do is to make sure that we've had that conversation with our primary care provider mm -hmm. about our kidney health. So many patients who have chronic kidney disease aren't even aware of it. And those patients who have severe chronic kidney disease the overwhelming majority of them still don't know that they suffer from even advanced chronic kidney disease. So have that conversation with your primary care provider, particularly if you have the most important risk factors, things like diabetes, hypertension, or a family history of chronic kidney disease. So what are some signs of kidney disease or concerns? Unfortunately, the signs of advanced chronic kidney disease don't really show up until you are far down the path of damage and you can develop signs and symptoms such as edema, poorly controlled high blood pressure. You can develop nausea, decreased appetite, fatigue, things like that. But oftentimes when you're having symptoms like that, your kidney disease is far advanced and there may not be much else that we can do except to prepare you for a kidney transplant or mm. to prepare you for dialysis. And we don't want anyone watching to get to that point. So as Dr. Davis mentioned, have a conversation with your healthcare provider, with your doctor. Dr. Davis, it is very good to see you. An important conversation to have, that's for sure. And we will post this segment on our website, kmov.com slash great day following the show.